Shalom, shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Harakak Wadash. Double honors to the old apostles, great millstone, ruling teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, risking their lives, doing the same, and teaching the same. All right, about to jump on in now. And uh, this lesson is going to be going into the draft, all right? <clears throat> the upcoming um, draft for World War III. All right, which um, Esau, the so-called white man, all right, <clears throat> the ruling class that is, they already, you know, then passed bills, all right, and um, passed laws, you know, from 18, and uh, I believe from 18 to 26, but it's really, they didn't up it higher, all right? <clears throat> you got to get, you know, you got to um, be a part of that selective service, all right, and get drafted, you know, uh, when the occasion of war rises, all right, and they're preparing for war, okay, you know, these soldiers, they're doing their drills and, and things like that, and they're preparing for war, all right, <clears throat> and uh, in this video, this is another post by the brother uh, Jeremiah, servant of your uh, of uh, Yahweh, all right, and um, about to watch it, and Lord willing, it's edifying. But you know, uh, Esau's military they have increased the age gap, you know, of for the men that uh, has to go in the draft, all right. See, right now is is you you have a choice, but that choice is about to soon go away, all right. So, Lord willing, this edify. I am a 40-year-old biracial man. I am also an ex-con who washed out of basic training 21 years ago. So it blew my mind when I got a call today from a U.S. Army recruiter. They had a copy of my DD-214. They knew about my prior service, my criminal history, and everything I've done in my life and asked me if I was interested in re-enlisting. I'm thinking I'm 40 years old. The army, the military is a young man's game, a young person's game. I mean, I'm still in good shape. I'm six foot two, 230 pounds. I grew up in the streets fighting. I was fighting in prison. And when I was in the army at 19, basic training really wasn't all that hard. I was going in as 11 Bravo, as infantry. I didn't wash out in basic training because it was hard. There was some other things that happened in there that I have videos about you can go check out. But apparently they raised the age limit to 42 years old. And a lot of middle-aged people like myself are getting phone calls. So me and this staff sergeant talk for a little while. The fact that I have two bachelor's degrees would allow me to come in as an E4. I can't come in as an officer because I have criminal convictions, so I can't get a secret clearance for anything. And we all know the army don't get paid shit. So they're essentially asking me at 40 years old as an ex-con who hasn't been in the military for 21 years to re-sign up to be in the infantry. Now this set off a lot of alarm bells in my head. And the conspiracy nut in me kind of kind of started kicking in. Is World War III coming? Or are they that desperate to put bodies and boots on the ground in some foreign countries we can go die? I tell you what, that staff sergeant was a salesman. He spun me a tale about redeeming myself. About how this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go back and fix some things in my past. I'm not going to lie, I was feeling it. I'm like, yeah, I deeply regret not being able to be in the Army. I deeply regret this. I am... And that's, that's the deception, all right? That's the deception in... Um See, that's why Esau, the so-called white man, he's that old serpent. He's compared to a snake because snakes, the, the power is in they, they, they tongue. All right. They're venom. OK. Uh, no other race on this earth lies better, tells more, <clears throat> you know, uh, lies are able to sell you wolf tickets than the so-called white man. OK. So what that recruiter was doing was trying to um, basically finesse him, play mind games into getting him to come back and, you know, to the military. All right. 
<clears throat> but uh, let me skip the back to the end. They'll give me as an E4 is a drastic pay cut. And the fact that they're so desperate so to reach out. Three. So instead of the U.S. government instituting a draft, which would be widely unpopular myself at 40 years old with all my gray facial hair and my dad bod putting on the uniform again but something has to be going on that they are interested in middle-aged ex-cons like me i look at what's going on with the russia and ukraine situation i look at what's going on in the middle east with iran and israel and and gaza and lebanon i look at what's going on with china doing military drills with russia I look at what's going on with Iran selling weapons to Russia. And I see how America is right in the middle of all of that. And I look at how turbulent this election season is. How we can be on the precipice of a... Yeah, the scriptures say a little one shall draw them out. All right. <clears throat> you know, that's talking about uh, Israel. All right. Or the Israeli all right, people. Okay, they're going to... They're bringing, they're dragging Babylon the Great uh, America into this war, okay? Civil War and World War III. So instead of the U.S. government instituting a draft, which would be widely unpopular in America, they rather call up old middle-aged men like me, play at our heartstrings, offer us a nice big enlistment bonus, pull at the strings of our patriots. And if, if I'm not mistaken, uh... They get an offer to half a million just for, uh, you know, enlisting. All right. So, you know, it's, it's in 2024. They're offering the most money, you know, for people that want to join the military or that's really to entice. That's to entice you to uh, to join the military. All right. And only dumbasses is going to jo join the military um, without understanding and doing, you know, knowing what they're getting themselves a part of. You know, they're just looking at the money and the benefits and, oh, yeah, and, they, you know, thinking about years on down the line and stuff like that, all right, which uh, only two-thirds is going to get caught up in that, that, uh, that condemnation, all right? <clears throat> All right, us that's in this truth, Lord willing them of the elect number. All right, we understand uh, not to get, you know, not to do those things. All right, we understand not to be in the military. All right. <clears throat> and sucker us into signing up and going to die somewhere. Of course, I said no. I have a wife. And World War Three will happen. Okay, World War Three is in the Bible, and it will go nuclear. All right, it will be nuclear destruction. All right, it will escalate to that point. If I got six kids, I have a career, and the pay that they'll give me as an E4 is a drastic pay cut. And the fact that they're so desperate to reach out to a man like me, an old brother like me, in my opinion, means something big is coming, and I'm better served here at home protecting my family. Because I would feel like crap. Shit. That ain't going to help. If you're not in this truth, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, if you're not serving Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, all right, in truth and sincerity, with fear and trembling, working out your own salvation, with fear and trembling, all right, having faith in works, okay? If you're not doing those things, okay, and, and, and having this 100% truth and knowing the prophecies, all right, it, it defeat the purpose and it defeat the purpose in you outsmarting the military, all right, and finessing a way that you don't get drafted and things like that, but yet you're trying to stay home and uh, stock up and, you know, hunker down and try to protect your, your family and friends, you know, carnally, all right? Guess what? If you're not of the elect, all of that is vanity and for no reason, all right? <clears throat> I'm going to go as far as to say this. You might actually survive Jacob's trouble, but that don't mean you're of the elect. Okay? It, the Lord probably just wanted you to die to some nuclear missiles. Okay? 
If you're not in this truth, your ass is grass. All right. <clears throat> you know, and we uh, uh, in this truth, we understand that our only way out of here is through those chariots, the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, the vehicles of the Lord and the angels. All right. <clears throat> so if your ass, you know, make it to the end of Jacob's trouble. All right. Even if you refuse, you can you can finesse your way out of this this draft and uh you can finesse your your way and deny the mark of the beast the RFID chip and their neural link okay <clears throat> but if you haven't if your mind hasn't uh been renewed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah all right if you haven't become a new creature and reborn in Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah guess what those chariots of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah so-called UFOs, spaceships, all right, um, they're not going to pick your ass up, okay? So you doing all, you, you, you survive for nothing, okay? So Lord willing, I'm of the elect number, all right? <clears throat> that way, you know, me and my uh, household can get, get uh, saved, all right? And that's why all of us brothers in this faith doing what we do, all right, in order to receive that penny, you know, <clears throat> how the song go these last two dollars. All right, we're not going to lose. OK, so we want that penny. Our eye is single. Uh, our eyes on the prize, the kingdom of heaven, salvation. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to let this finish. If something big did go down and I was suckered into joining the army again. And my family, my wife, and kids were left to their own devices without me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do y'all think this is a move because World War III is coming? Or is it something else? Yes, it's a move because World War III is already here. And World War III is about to get out of hand. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let me uh, make sure it's rolling. Let's get these precepts. And, um... Uh, it's an old saying, damn if you do, and damn if you don't. <laughs> and that that old saying only applies to two-thirds non-believers, ungodly sinners of the nation of Israel, sinful kingdom, all right? <clears throat> if you don't repent and come back to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and truly have faith, all right, you know, and, and, and put in the work in, in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, all right? If you don't do that, it don't matter. It don't matter. You can you can stock up bullets and uh, food. Um, you can plan this shit out extravag extravagantly, all right? You can build yourself an underground bunker in the woods, uh, deep in the woods and you can plan that shit out perfectly but guess what if you're not of the elect uh, nothing is going to go your way damn if you do and damn if you don't alright if you're not of the elect just because you didn't take the mark of the beast that don't mean you're going to be saved alright and the same goes to uh, just because you, you dodged that draft alright <clears throat> you know and not getting picked up in that, that uh, draft that don't mean you're going to be saved, all right? It's what you, uh, it's about submitting and having obedience to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, all right? And faith, faith and works, okay? That's, that's, that's how you get, uh, uh, that's how you be a potential uh, healthy elect, okay? <clears throat> Many are called, but few are chosen. We're trying to, um, we're trying to make sure we have that elect number. All right, so uh, let me see. Um, I ain't gonna get that precept. All right. <clears throat> so this second, second Ezra six and five. And ere the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned. Before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. Okay? All right? 
Okay, so if you don't believe in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and have the correct doctrine, okay, 100% truth, all right, and understanding the, these prophecies, all right, in the times we're living in, guess what? Uh, you're not going to make it, all right? You're not going to make it. So this truth is our only way out, okay? <clears throat> The one who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, all right, uh, the, their true name is Yahweh. Yahweh, he mean, that's the tr true name of the Heavenly Father, all right, of the Most High. His name is Yahweh. He exists, all right? And the true name of the Messiah is Yahweh Shah, all right? That means he's the Savior, he's the Deliverer, okay? So if you don't have the true names, of the heavenly father and his only begotten son who are two separate people all right if you if you don't have have those names in the correct doctrine all right you're not going to make it all right <clears throat> Every, anything that can go wrong will go wrong all right these demons going to throw everything at you including the kitchen sink all right and you will lose all right that's why one of my favorite scriptures uh, is in Psalms. I believe. Bear with me. In four, 49, I think. No, 70, my bad. So like it. Uh, Psalms 78 and 49. All right. <clears throat> It's Psalms, Psalms chapter 78 and 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Like the movie Bird Box, okay? The Lord is not playing. All right? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, they are not playing. All right? Yahweh Shah is already on his way back to the earth. Okay? With the host of the angels and those so-called UFOs. All right? <clears throat> which the Bible calls chariots. All right? That's the Lord and the angels. They're about to invade the earth. All right? They're about to set it off in this motherfucker. And they're only going to sa save the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? <clears throat> so we living in some terrifying days. All right? You don't want to be on the wrong side of this judgment, okay, that the Lord is bringing. You want to be a part of that elect chosen few. Okay. Uh, let me get the main precept. Uh, Second Ezra sixteen, and I'm a. Uh, I was gonna read more, but I'm a kind of shorten it. Read two two out of this one, and then close out. <clears throat> All right. The Second Ezra uh, sixteen and thirty three. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms, and the women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. All right? Now the next verse is about to tell us why women are not going to have no protection, no man, in these last days unless they, uh, unless they give it a, a man of the Lord. All right? Because all these men, <clears throat> the time is coming to where this draft is going to be made mandatory, all right? If you don't get drafted, if you do all that sneaky shit, finessing, all right? If they catch you, your ass going to jail, and nine, nine times out of ten, they're going to kill you. They're going to beat the piss off, off you, and they're going to kill you, all right? Because, all right, that's going to be considered uh, treason or whatever, all right? <clears throat> okay? So these niggas is about to get snatched up off these corners and thrown into war, all right? So it says, um, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine, okay? So man, that, that, that lets you know how extreme the upcoming days is about to get, all right? <clears throat> you know, this, this, this is not, uh, this truth, this truth is not a game, all right? And the whole world can see, 
Okay? The whole world can, can see that. All right? You know, like I uh, said last video, you, you got Christians. You got all type of people um, trying to, you know, revert back to the Bible. All right? It's the reason why the Bible is the most popular book on earth. Okay? Because uh, uh, it, it has 100% truth. All right? Literally everything from front to back and in between in the scriptures, all of it uh, is true, true from the, the history, all right, past, present, and the future, all right? And people, and Esau know that, Esau know that, all right? You know, this is a living book, all right? And the Bible is speaking in these last days. And the whole world know that. That's why they're trying to run to the Bible. All right? <clears throat> but you Christians can run to the Bible all you want. All right? If you don't have, uh, if the Lord don't put his Holy Spirit on you to receive the truth, all right, and you, you come out of that bullshit-ass religion and come into this truth, you know, and wake up to who you are and come into the knowledge of the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right? If that don't happen, you can you can try to prophesy all you want. They're going to just break the scriptures down wrong. All right? So you're warning, Christians are warning uh, Jake, which represents Jake is uh, slaying for Jacob. All right? So these Christians trying to warn you so-called Negroes, uh, Latinos, Native Americans, to what? Come back to Jesus Christ. So they're literally trying to, really trying to kill you. All right? That's what these Christians are trying to do. You know, now they, they're trying to copy the men of the Lord. They're trying to go on the how the Christians trying to go on the highways and hedges and preach Jesus Christ. And they're trying to start you, YouTubes, and which they've been doing that. But now I, I noticed, because when I was living <clears throat> out there uh, in Sulphur, they had this Christian family holding up signs and, and um, you know, preaching, talking about, you know, we in the last days and, you know, uh, World War Three and all that. But they was teaching for a second, for a quick second, I thought they was uh, Hebrew Israelites. But once, um, you know, once they were saying Jesus Christ, I already knew it was game over. All right. <clears throat> and another red flag, uh, the husband and the wife was teaching together. All right? That's off. Women are not supposed to be prophets. They're not supposed to be in no position of leadership or power. All right? And being a prophet, a teacher, all right, is a position of authority and power that women is not supposed to be in. All right? Women are supposed to teach what? The younger children. Okay? All right? <clears throat> but I don't want to... Uh, linger on too long but that just proves that we're in the last days these scriptures the prophecies is is blatantly obvious all right it's happening in real time okay you know so the bible is not a book i mean uh the bible is not a game all right <clears throat> so lord willing that was edifying Want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. All right, and double honors to the old apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, risking their lives for the witness and testimony of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and enduring all things for their elect's sake. Shalom.